Hello and welcome to Kerala Grand Market, our daily program on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USD. Now. So yesterday we talked about Nifty potentially retesting the middle of the channel, but it went way beyond that. We also talked about Bank Nifty took resistance in the middle of the channel and we said there could be an out downside till 45,000. That's another one percent away. We also talked about how USD NR looks like the start of a massive up now, up more, but really I don't think we can uh, do, you know, contest technicals against RBI. So I'm just going to stop doing this uh, USD NR technicals. It is really stupid because central banks interfering versus technicals <laughs> can't end well for technicals. But so uh, our verdict was that there might be a small dip and we might retest 20,000 to 20,100. Uh, no point expecting a big up move in the current expiry. So there's no up move. There was immediate down move. There was a dip, but it was not small. We said wait and watch the action at 20,000. If it holds, we can buy again. But it did not hold. We are below 20,000 now. Uh, even uh, on a uh, futures itself is below 20,000. Spot is of course way below 20,000. In fact, spot is below the middle of the. So now the problem is Nifty is below the middle of the channel. Bank Nifty is below the middle of the channel. Dollar officially end of the line for me. I'm not going to touch dollar. I'm just going to close this window because this is uh, <laughs> this is some crazy stuff happening right there. Uh, so I, I mean, like we know what is happening. I guess so. Let's not go there, right? So mm. so yeah. Now let's look at uh, what everything else is looking like. Okay. Afsal is saying, so glad didn't take that iron fly. That's exactly what I said. There's no point. Dude. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a big move either way. So there's no point in um, gambling on iron fly. Right. So first thing, Nifty is below the middle of the channel. There is a possibility that we can retest the channel bottom. Now the channel bottom is at 19,700 and, oh, sorry, 19,600 and uh, 600 odd levels. So 19600 is another 300 points below. So how much is that? Um, person and a half types. Bank Nifty is can also retest 45,000. That's around less than a person. So maybe a person and a half downside is possible in Nifty and possibly less than a person downside is possible in Bank Nifty. Right. So I'll write that down. Nifty and Bank Nifty both look weak and there might be more downside of around 1 to 1.5 percent here. Now let's look at auction gain. No surprises, everybody sold calls. Right? And 20,000 is a massive resistance now. So lots of call addition. 20,000 is a massive. Is here a 0 0.6. That is bearish. And let's see what else. So everything so far is bearish. The 20,000 is such a huge resistance now. In fact, I wouldn't, I would be very surprised if there is no further fall. In fact, I would say there is going to be a lot. I mean, there is going to be some more fall, right? And let's see PCR is 0 0.7, not 0 0.6, sorry. That is uh, overall PCR is 0 0.6, but for selected strike range, PCR is 0 0.7. But even the, you know, overall is bearish. Now, FII option data. This is very negative because FII sold 1.46 lakh calls and sold 1 lakh puts net net negative. Let's write that down. Futures data will also be negative. 2000 crores sell, no surprises there.
I'll write bearish rather than negative so that it's very clear. Now, if I stock data, 3000 crore cell, that is again negative. So, verdict is there is there is going to be a further down move, not a time to be long. Um, selling calls can make sense, but buying puts is very tricky, right? Buying puts are playing it on. Uh, selling on upticks on intraday with small position size makes sense. And I'll tell you why I'm saying this, right? There's a reason why I'm saying small size. See, because overall, the bigger trend is still up move, right? I see that there's a down move here, but if you look at the overall trend, it is still an up move. It is higher high and higher low. So I don't find a reason to be bearish for a mega big target, right? Yeah, of course you can try selling here for a target of maybe 19,600 or 700 or something that you have to get out quickly. Entirely depends on how nimble you are going to play, right? Uh, one, one and a half percent types downside. You can play, depends on how nimble you will be in playing the downside. But the catch is I won't short so here's the thing, right? In a very big uptrend, if I am shorting, let's say 10 lots when I'm in the long direction, every time I'm with the broader trend, I should be shorting three to five lots in the smaller, you know, trend within the bigger trend. So always bet big trend with the bigger size, bet the smaller dips and smaller correction with the smaller size. So, so that when you lose money because you have to stop out because you are betting against the big trend, right? Also, you won't be aiming for big moves. You'll only be aiming for small move. In fact, I would, I am happy even not participating in the dip and trying to add on dips whenever that dip comes down. So my verdict here would be, there's going to be a further down move, not a time to be long. Selling on uptakes with makes sense. Also, there is F, uh, FOMC interest rate decision tonight betting on that is gambling i mean it's a gamble it's the biggest event in the world uh, so not a good idea to do this right so now um, jitendra is asking why don't i look at vwaps cpr and fibonacci levels because the thing is doing two three things in depth and very well works. If you look at 100 indicators, it's a little bit of a, an issue. That's why. And I don't understand uh, these things very, very well. Right, Rajas is saying Hindu Hindi channel is amazing. Yes, Sagar is a mega legend. Uh, with US and India markets going down for many ways, especially Bank Nifty have two shooting stars in three days. I won't say this is a trend reversal and this is going to go to 14,000 now. This is a dip. Again, it's very important, right? This is a dip. This is at very best. It's a dip. A dip is what it is. It is not a reversal. It is not the time to sell your house and to short futures. So please be uh, uh, careful about shorting. Um, it's not really a reversal. It is just a dip. There's a difference between reversal and dip, right? Um, so trades, uh, no trades till FOMC is uh, FOMC's impact is clear and market shows clear sign stability for the next move. And I'll tell you why I'm thinking about this. Right? See, of course, you can you could have shorted here because the trend middle middle is broken and you can probably exit at 97. Why not? Now tomorrow, if there is a gap down, then if you want to play the short side, you only have hardly like 70 points to play. If tomorrow there's a gap up, the question is, will it go above the middle of, so, or let me put it this way, right? Middle of the trend line, if it crosses again, then it's a long market, right? So let me just write it. If the middle of the trend line is breached again, Then it is time 
to go long if not we can test the bottom of the channel again middle of the trend line channel is reached again then it is time to go long so basically what i am trying to say is if nifty is able to close above this 20050 20000 you know this kind of a level this what i'm showing here now where we have the trend line around 20050 taps then yes it will go and touch 20400 that will be you know that's a very nice eventuality for everybody who's long but if that does not happen then we can drift down all the way to 19650 kind of a level so the question really is is it going to retest this and come down or is it going to retest this and go up if tomorrow it's a gap down significant gap down let's say 100 odd points kind of a gap down then you have to understand that there isn't much of a downside to play after that the best game is to wait till it reaches the bottom of the channel and figure out what will happen after that right um but if tomorrow we see a gap up and the gap up holds and it crosses this level then it's time to go long again long again so in case of gap down wait till it reaches the bottom of the channel see what the price action there is and if it holds go long if market gaps up and stabilizes above the middle of the channel then again go long so this is what i would do right similarly for bank nifty very close to the bottom of the channel if it tests here and if it holds it might be a good idea to see what the price action is and go long but if it goes up then yahan pe there is a resistance at around 46 500 types 400 types see what happens there if it stabilizes there and goes up then probably you again you can go long till a target of 48000 right so basically downside target of at around 44000 um 600 types that is a couple of percent points a percent and a half right around 44600 and nifty also a downside target of around 19600 so so basically both indices can go down another 1.5% once it goes down 1.5% see the bottom of the channel action and decide what you want to do this would be what i would do right um let me read a comments uh thoughts on hdfc bank i don't follow single stocks market is consolidated pretty much big gap i think this one more down round 1 to 1.5 percent then maybe um, gap can trigger big short by big short covering by nsc uh sorry by fii is not sure uh, nifty may test 19500 that i wouldn't be sure do you recommend bear call or bear put spread for a target of 19700 see it is possible that 19700 can happen but my worry is if it happens tomorrow itself right then uh then basically the call spread hasn't really played out so basically you are you are asking can i play a bear call spread at this junction right the problem with uh, asking uh, sorry playing the bear call spread is that if i short it i also need to get out so if i deploy it tomorrow morning and on a gap down and it suddenly gaps down and finishes the move then you are going to be stuck on the bear call spread you are better off playing a intraday with futures or you know sell atm call or buy atm put or something 2000 crore futures sell can very well be a case of closing longs kush is saying yes that is true it could be true um double top in nifty no classically double top has to be separated by 6 months uh, i'm not sure this is a double top so yeah anyway that is a comment so basically today fomc event ideally tomorrow you will have clarity on where the market is going to bottom out i still think the longer trend is bull trend it's a question of how far it can go down before it consolidates again and go up right so this is our analysis for day we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual please take care and 